was known to kill a hundred Philistines and cut their foreskins off and throw them like rings at the feet of the king. David didn't take any stuff. He was radical when he was a boy. He was a boy killing lions and bears while other boys were playing with baseballs and basketballs. David was killing lions and bears getting ready for the next fight. By the time he got ready to fight a giant, he had a resume of dead carcasses laying behind him saying, I, you don't know who you're fooling with. I whipped the lion and I whipped the bear and the same God that delivered them into my hand is going to deliver you into my house. I'll whip you too. He didn't have nothing but a rag and a rock, but he knew how to work it. And when you know how to work what you got, God will bless you with the victory. He knocked him in the head his sword out and cut the giant's head off for a trophy. David didn't take any stuff. He practiced victory and that's what's wrong with our children. We need to expose our children to early victories. You ought not always run down to the school about everything. Some stuff little Johnny's got to learn how to deal with. We protect our boys too much. We don't let them deal with any kind of problem. That's why they grow up so weak and passive and need somebody to rescue them all the time. You don't rescue them out of everything. Some things you got to deal with yourself so that you learn how to become a victor. And you can't be victorious until you've had conflict. Sometimes you ought not save them from the conflict. Throw Jonah overboard and teach him how to swim so he can get some victories up under his belt. It changes the way you walk and how you talk and you hold your head up straight. Once you have come through something, you get some bonus. You feel a kick from your testosterone when you whip something. Just because you got testicles doesn't make you a man. And life will break you into itty bitty little pieces and throw you at the feet of some woman's doorstep and you'll be either swept up or stepped over the rest of your life.